coming up in this video. For the rather unattractive name of pig nose flying turtle. Great. What? That was a steal. Two turtles involved in what we call back home is horizontal folk dancing. Welcome to Fish Tales with Tim. Today we're going to check out a unique location at Auto, which is a park in the north of Singapore. It's the Live Turtle and Tortoise Museum. Let's go. Okay, well I've just stepped inside and I've paid my admission fee. Just make sure you pay cash because um, they prefer cash around here. And for an extra couple of bucks, you get one of these. It's a basket full of yummy treats. Although it looks like all the stuff I didn't want to eat when I was a kid. But this is the stuff that apparently these turtles and tortoises love. So let's go uh, give them some tucker. We have more than 3,000 turtles and tortoises here, which makes it the biggest which makes it the biggest number of turtles in captivity anywhere in the world. They've even got a sign from the Guinness Book of Records that records out the front to prove it. So this guy here who's right behind us, he's the African spurred tortoise. He's the biggest tortoise on mainland Africa and he's actually native to the areas around the Sahara Desert. And uh, he gets his name because he has some spurs under his front legs and they sort of help him dig. Let's go uh, give him something to eat. All right, mate, you been hungry? Oh, God, he just jumped. Look at that, oh. Yep, he's digging that, isn't he? Well, this guy here as well. He knows I got some tucker. He knows I got something. All right, how about I give you a this big leafy one here. You want some of that guy? Yeah, there we go. Good boy. Oops, dropped it. Maybe we'll try again. This guy? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> All right, next up we've got the Asian brown tortoise, which is one of the oldest turtles in the entire world. Been around for just hundreds and hundreds of years. And then we've also got the elongated tortoise, which is also known as the yellow tortoise due to the color of its shell. And uh, both of these are found mainly in Southeast Asia. You still got you got something on the side of your mouth, mate. Yeah, doesn't stop him. He's still going hard. He's still going for something to eat. Good job, man. And our next round of entrance for you to uh, have a look at and uh, pick your favourite tortoise. We have we have the radiated tortoise, which is native to Madagascar, just off the African coast, or an African country off the. Uh, African mainland coast and it's been classed as the most attractive tortoise in the world and then we also have the yellow footed and the red footed tortoises and they're both from the Amazonian jungle in South America. There we go, any minute now, any minute now, keep going. Good boy. Oh, there's another one there, he wants some too. Yeah. This one here, here's the radiated tortoise. He's supposed to be the most attractive one. Just gotta wash my hands here, make sure these guys don't bite my fingers off. It's so hard because there's so many of these guys here, and you want to give them all something to eat. All right, now this guy here, he looks mean, but I'm sure he's got a great personality. He's actually just out roaming around here today, having a bit of a look-see, you know, seeing if the weather's good, that kind of thing. I'm gonna give him something to eat as well, okay? All right, well this little area right here is absolutely creaming with turtles. There are turtles everywhere. Actually, there might have been terrapins. But anyway, so these guys are all in this little, little water setting that you can see behind me. And they are keen as mustard. And they're ready to eat. Let's see what happens here. We'll give them some tucker and see where they go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, lettuce. Well, the lettuce is now being washed, that's for sure. You know, I have found a couple of guys who uh, have spent a bit who uh, spend a bit too much time in the water. Maybe their skin and it's getting a bit wrinkled. Maybe their toes are getting a bit wrinkled. And they've decided to come out to get a little bit of sun. So here we've got some sun baking turtles. See if they're keen for some food. Oh, by the way, if you do come here and you feed them, make sure you keep your fingers away because they can't tell the difference between fingers and food. All right. Here you go, buddy. Do you want something to eat? Look at that, eh? Here you go, buddy. Oh. Right. What? That was a steal. 
There you go, mate. Yes? No? You're probably thinking, what else is on the menu? Every day I eat cabbage. Hey, man, I'll be feeling the same way as well. You sure you don't want some? No? No? Maybe he's a fussy eater. Yes? No? You want some chili on that? <laughs> I guess you can't please everybody around here. And um, yeah, he's obviously a bit had enough of it. So there are some other big turtles here as well, which or, or turtles which you can't feed. And we're gonna have a look at some of them right now. This one here is the American snapping turtle. And this guy here, he is the Malaysian giant turtle. He's actually the second biggest turtle in Asia. And his shell can grow to up to 80 centimeters long, which is rather big. And look at his eye, his eyelids just then. As you can see, they didn't just work like our ones did from the top to the bottom, they kind of come from side to side, which is pretty interesting. But this guy is the giant river turtle, and he's actually bigger than the last fella. And he's the largest freshwater turtle in Southeast Asia. These guys look like they've just got, they're just born with a bad attitude, don't they? These are called alligator snapping turtles, and they're from the good old USA. All right, now as well as the ones out in the um, exhibits that we've seen earlier, there's a bunch of uh, turtles that are kept in these aquariums you see behind me. But uh, unfortunately, we can't feed those guys, but you can just look and you know, learn a little bit about them along the way. Now this guy here is called the Mata Mata Turtle and he's from South America and he's native to the areas around the Amazon and the uh, Orinoco and um, you can check him out, he's got rather unique physical characteristics such as a triangular flattened head and a long and tubular snout. Mississippi Mac Turtle and you can gather by the name that they're actually native to southern USA and they get their name because um, the linings on their back resemble the contour lines of a map. Well I think it's pretty fair to say these guys here aren't on anyone's endangered list. They're called the Red Ear Slider and they're probably the most common turtle in the world. Oh, one just fell off. That was lovely. Like someone's got a camera and everybody wants to be in the front of the, of the camera shot. Um, this noise is kind of a little bit unusual. In fact, it's scaring the big turtle over here. This is uh, two turtles involved in what we call back home is horizontal folk dancing. Yeah, this guy here, maybe he's uh, come and look or maybe he just wants some more. I'll give him some cabbage because nobody should have to deal with that, should they? Uh, sometime soon, folks, we could have some more tortoises here at the uh, Turtle and Tortoise Museum here in Singapore. You saw it first, remember that. <laughs> the X-rated antics all over, it was back to feeding the locals and meeting this rather unique guy. The Burmese mountain tortoise is sometimes called the six-legged tortoise, but he doesn't really have six limbs. He actually has an extra pair of claws located either side of his tail that look like an extra pair of legs. One of my favorite parts of the park was the large open area where the animals were free to munch on something other than cabbage. Or they could try to get their steps up for the day. Only 9,994 to go, Roger. Hey, thanks for joining me today on my trip to the live turtle and tortoise museum here in Northern Singapore. 
a really interesting place, I think you'd agree. I've learned quite a lot about tortoises and turtles today and uh, even sort of saw a couple uh, in action making some new little baby tortoises as well. I guess that was a highlight. A really interesting place. I really hope in the future they do uh, find a location which has a bit more space for the animals to roam around. I think that would be really beneficial for them and will probably make it a much better experience for everybody concerned. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. Really hope you enjoyed that last video. Why not stick around and check another one? Like, that's a goodie. Actually, that's a pretty good one too. All right, see you later.